How's it going everybody? I'm in the shop today and I figured it'd be kind of fun to make an aluminum business card holder. Here we've got our stock and I'll show you what I've designed in Fusion and we sent it over to Toolpath and we'll check out the results. Here we are in Fusion and we can see the part. It's just a pretty simple single body aluminum business card holder. But the, the one unique thing about it is I have these undercuts. Let's see how Toolpath handles it. Now what I've done is I've gone into my add-in and I've sent my part to Toolpath. So uh, I'll just show you over here. This is the result. So if we take a look at our overview page, we can see we've got a 100% machinability report, which means this whole thing's being machined, uh, which is great because if I go to my setups over here and I select T-slots, it'll show me exactly where my T-slots are, are being machined and Toolpath is now looking at these T-slots in a much more intelligent way. Before, this was kind of difficult, where we didn't actually do a great job. If we were doing a, a roughing operation in here, it would sometimes cut right through those T-slots. So now we're uh, handling it a lot better. Our dev team has been working on this uh, quite a bit. So let me show you, if we go to the Tools tab, and we hop over here, in Setup 1, I can see I need 7 8 key seat cutter in order to hit those features. Now that it looks good in Toolpath, I say what we do is we export to Fusion. So if you haven't seen this, you just click Export to Fusion, Copy, and we're gonna go back over to our add-in, click Import Program, and I'm just gonna paste that code. And let's include work holding. This is a preview feature, but if you guys uh, want access to it, we can definitely get that to you. Self-centering vice, click OK. What's happening now, we're taking all of our toolpath setups and cam automation and we're dumping it into Fusion. Uh, it's creating our work holding and our setups. So you can see that kind of all happening in real time. If I go over to this auto setup one, I'm going to drop that down. And then let's take a look at this in simulation and see how, see how it looks. So first we pull up our face mill. Now it looks like we do some roughing. Now we're roughing the pocket, but we're making sure to keep all of the undercut profiles intact. And then right at the end there, we do our key seat cutter. So except for these little corners right here, which is probably just a, a chamfer issue, Toolpath did a great job. I have the uh, comparison on there and we can see that it's hit every single uh, every single face has been machined and we have no issues. So I'm gonna cut some stock. We're gonna make it out of this aluminum bar. We've got two and a half by three quarter. I think I gotta cut it down to about four inches and we will load it up in this Brother Speedio. If you guys haven't seen it here, this is our setup. So I've got the vise set up here. It's on a riser with zero point plate and we already have all of our tools loaded up in the machine. We like to call those core tools, and we've set those up in Toolpath as core tools. So when I'm loading a part into Toolpath, Toolpath is looking at my core tools first before it tries to use any other tools so that I know I can machine the part with the tools already in my machine. So it's a pretty handy thing. Uh, let's get this cut up and we'll start making some chips. So Op One's running right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the mic setup and everything. But what I want to tell you is, I took the part from Fusion, dropped it into Toolpath with my tool library, made sure that I had all the right fees and speeds in there for my machine, the Speedio. And then I checked to make sure that we got 100% machinability report, dropped it into Fusion, got all the cam automation, and I haven't touched anything on the Fusion program. I simulated, because that's really important, right? I sent it to the machine, loaded up the stock, uh, probed in the part, and now it's running. I'll show you what, we're, what we got going on here. I've got the GoPro set up in the machine right now. That's our part being machined, and all of these toolpaths right here were generated by Toolpath, all those operations. So there's a lot to be said for being able to make uh, parts quickly, works great for fixtures. In this case, 
we're making our business card holder. I still need to load the key seat cutter, so actually maybe let's go do that now. Right here is our uh, tool drawer. We've got it kind of organized. Aluminum end mills, steel end mills, and then organized by the type. If we go into this drawer, and I'm looking at this drawer and I see my key seats, and see what key seat cutters I have. I will have to probably modify it a little bit because I might not have the actual key seat cutter on hand, but this guy will probably do the job. All right, that's op one done, let's check it out. That's nice, I'm very happy with that. So of course we intentionally left out these uh, undercuts just because I need to still load the tool, but Toolpath programmed all those undercuts. I ended up loading this key seat cutter tool and finished the operation. And this is what we got. Let's see if this card fits. I've just got a blank card here. Slide it right in. Perfect. Hopefully you guys can see just how powerful this cam automation stuff is that we're working on. If you're excited about it and want to try it out for yourself, we have a 14 day free trial of Toolpath and it includes the cam automation, everything's fully unlocked. So go try it out for yourself, let us know what you think about it and uh, what you love and what you don't love. We want to make a product that you guys are excited to use. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all the stuff that you do on YouTube, Instagram, all the social media stuff. And stay tuned as we continue to push out more features every week to make sure that you guys are the most productive you can be in your shop. Thanks.